All right, class. Uh, I want to thank y'all for expressing so much interest in uh, the things we've been doing online this semester. And uh, I know we had been thinking about and sharing about some things that we liked. And I know I promised that I would give you guys some opportunity to use the Khan Academy uh, in order to bring to light some of the terms and things we've been discussing with nonverbal communication and also, you know, Kenneth Burke with identification and consubstantiality and, and, and how we see like deflect and reflect things. And so for those of you who don't know, the, the, the Khan Academy is an outstanding website, uh, really bunch of tutorial stuff, bunch of subjects that you can dive into and learn at your own pace. I mean, I almost look at it as like a, a Rosetta Stone almost for, for knowledge. Uh, but assuming that you already have signed in, it should be easy because if you have a Google account, if you have a Gmail account, you sign right in with the Gmail account. So once you're in, you're going to scroll up here to subjects. And then you're going to go over here to partner content. So yeah, it has math, science, economics, arts and humanities, computing and test prep and all that. It has all those things. But if you click on partner content, it's going to bring you over here to these museums. And that's what we're going to look at. This, you know, the J. Paul Getty Museum, if you click that, it's going to take you over here. And so, you know, it seeks to inspire curiosity about and enjoyment and understanding of the visual arts by collecting, conversing, exhibiting and interpreting works of art. So What's that have to do with communication? I'm going to tell you. It's easy to talk about these things in class. It's very easy to talk about terms and try to apply those terms to life. That's what we're trying to do. But when we look at these images, you scroll over here to the Getty and you scroll down, you're going to look at this photographs module. Okay? And You know, when we're looking at photography, you're going to be able to click on a link and it's going to be able to take you to a video. And there's multiple videos showing you how this photography was made. Right? Now, these images are what I want you to focus on. I want you to focus on the images for this lesson. And you'll watch each module. You'll jot down some notes. You'll talk about, hey, what were the artists trying to accomplish? What were these photos selecting, deflecting, and reflecting? And why? I mean, that should be your... question every time you decide to look upon an image you need to be thinking about why was that image there so you know we got this grocery and sandwich shop image right here that's the first thing you're gonna see and it's in black and white and it means something groceries and sandwich shop it means something what are they saying and what are they not saying and why who are they trying to bring in what type of customers do they want what type of business are they trying to do? Are they wholesome? Are they family run? You see the name up there. Like, obviously, this isn't a chain. This is your neighborhood grocery store, right? Like, so we need to be thinking about these things critically. And, you know, Khan Academy, you know, if you click back through, you go back to the J. Paul Getty Museum, you can click back through, go back to partner content. You know, we got the American Museum of Natural History, Asian Art Museum, California Academy of Science, the British Museum. Like, we have a ton of examples for us to choose from in our class that we can use to illustrate all of these terms that we've been talking about all semester. This website is outstanding. You're able to log in, do these things at your own pace. And then email me the results and I can go look and see what happens and, and, and look at the modules and look at what you wrote down. It's beautiful.
I hope this was helpful. I hope this was insightful.